Mark, what's going on? I know this is a kind of weird. It's a Sunday night and we're doing a uh, YouTube live or we're doing Instagram I, I gotta, live. I got to wave to them. You're killing me. Just keep this talking. This is Eric Hi. Rimmer, by the way. He cannot deal. See, I put my phone up on top of my refrigerator so it would get the whole entire studio here and that Eric wouldn't be able to touch it. And what does he do? He gets up and touches it because he can't stand not saying hello it. to people on Instagram, but Hi. hello to people on YouTube too. <laughs> Thank you for joining the show. I know. Hi, show. everybody on YouTube and Instagram. Now, this is why we're doing this on a Sunday because we are, weren't, I'm going to be gone on Saturday. That's when I leave to take Evan to New York. You're going to be gone because you're going out of town. Mm -hmm. We don't want to miss any shows, so we're just doing some, we're compiling some episodes so we, we do. don't ever miss, oh, we don't miss the week. Because we are here for you. We service you. Well, well that, that sounded dirty. <laughs> we are here to serve you. How about that? <laughs> we are here to help and serve. We are respectable we are adults. We are not serving anyone, <laughs> servicing anyone. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> before we get started and before I ask Hi, you Alfie. what's going on, yes, Alfie's here. He's coming. He's going to be on um, our next show. I can't wait. Oh, do I need to switch show, places with you? No, you do not or, need to. With him? We can deal being like one person away from Are you each sure? Other. Yes, I think okay. we can handle that. We have Eric's cosmetic surgeon, Dr. Kristen, uh, Kirsten. Riedler. Yes. She is coming Riedler. on the show live to talk about Eric's upcoming surgery to remove his bags under his eyes. It's called a lower bluff and we're super excited. So she's going to be coming in within the next half hour. Before that, we should thank our fantastic sponsors of Laura Kane After Dark. Let's start with yes. Sweetums Wipes and Barry's Let's Hair, do it. shall we? For all of your hair care needs, go to berryshair.com, B-A-R-R-I-E-S, hair.com. Barry does my hair, and I love her. Your hair always looks great. It's the best it's ever looked. Thank you. She does such a good job, and her specialty is color. And cuts, too. She does it all. Go to Barry's Hair on Instagram, Facebook, or now her website, berryshair.com. It's B-A-R-R-I-E-S for updos, braids, color, anything you can think of, Barry's hair, and mention Laura Kane After Dark. You get 15% off. We love our sponsor, sweetumswipes.com, S-W-E-E-T-U-M-S wipes.com, for spur of the moment freshness down there, for down there care. <laughs> Absolutely, with, men use them too. Yes, they do, with flavors like cinnamon bun. Uh, Guys love that I flavor. I love the cinnamon they bun. They also have flavor, so they taste Mojito. yummy too. And mango and mm -hmm. cherry. And pina colada. Yes. And now watermelon. Peach. Oh, watermelon. Yes. Peach scented wipes now too. Go to sweetumswipes.com, developed by Dr. Elisa Brady, who we love so much, a woman run company. Which we totally support. We do. That's sweetumswipes.com. We also have to talk about our other sponsor, which is Baja Coast Realty. Oh, my God. We had a blast and an adventure on Thursday. Wait, I'm going to post the pictures. I'll post them tomorrow. Okay, so I should post them too on Laura Kane After Dark. Yes, we had a blast down there. We went down to, it's south of, Ros it's south of Rosarito. So there's Tijuana and then there's Playas, then there's North Rosarito and then there's South Rosarito. So we're talking South Rosarito, which is kind of like the Beverly Hills yes. of Mexico. The homes down there. <laughs> Eric was are, blown away I, when we showed him the properties. Even the gentleman that we went with was like, oh, I heard you were kind of reluctant to come down here. And I was like, well, like a lot of people kind might of, be. I, <laughs> that drive in is spectacular. It's stunning, isn't it? It is. And it's easy. And that water is beautiful. So we're talking about these two properties, oh. the Pyramid at Plaza Del Mar. And Mission Viejo Sur. And these two properties are in South Rosarito. Mm -hmm. And the f one that Eric likes the best is the more modern one, which yes. is the three mid-rise buildings. Un crazy I'm telling you, view, you guys, beautiful finishes. Yeah. I saw the commercial that the kind of run through that they did. And I was like, oh yeah, these are really nice. 
I was completely blown away when the I. The crazy went. thing is that they're like two hundred and eighty thousand dollars. Yeah, three hundred thousand dollars. One hundred fifty-nine. The like most extravagant one is like four hundred fifty thousand yeah. dollars. But they start at one fifty-nine, and That's the how- ones that are one fifty-nine, you guys are sick. I know. Like you they're are so amazing. Surprised. They've got like open beam ceilings. They've oh, got. Yeah. You're right on the water, and everything is brand new. Stainless steel appliances, like that. Showers were amazing. You just won't believe that you're there. You won't it's believe crazy. that your money gets you this. It's right on the water in a beautiful Pacific Ocean. It's I'm so buying great. one. I know Eric's buying one and I'm so jealous. Anyway, if you have any more questions or if you want to get a hold of us, just DM us and we'll give you more information on Mission Viejo Sur, the pyramid at Plaza Del Mar. That's Baja Coast Realty. You can also go online, BajaCoastRealty.com. Okay? All right. So now... My host chat. Uh huh. I know you're sick of hearing this. Well, first of all, by the way, leopard skirt, mm-hmm. leopard cup. Thank you very much. Yeah, I have had to bite my tongue since I walked in tonight. We'll talk about it after the show. No, we're talking about it on the show. You guys have a problem with leopard? You, you look like one of the Gabor sisters. I'm not sure if you're Zsa Zsa or Gabor. Ava. Holy cow, that is dating you so bad. I know. <laughs> I just aged myself. (laughs) Dr. Riedler needs to get in here. Oh my God. How do you feel about your doctor being so much younger than you are? Is that kind of, isn't it weird? No, because it means no shaky hands. Oh yeah. No, not at all. Anyway. Yeah. So. So. What? uh Uh-huh. I do not want some like 90 year old. Of course not. That might have the shakes working on my face. Of course not. And I, I'm sure there's no 90-year-old cosmetic surgeon. Well, you never know. Anyway, so here's my little host chat. Evan and I had a girl day on Saturday. This is our last Saturday together before she goes to college in New York City. And we had a blast. We woke up. We got ready. We went and got boba. Do uh-huh. you like boba? Uh, I don't mind the taste of it. I don't like the gelatinous balls. You don't like the boba balls? Mm -hmm. Oh, those are the best part. I get extra boba because I love it. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Black milk tea. I got the um, green milk tea. The green milk tea with extra boba and 50% sweetness. Your your man and I are are simpatico in that. Alfie, just come on the show. I know. Come on. Oh, he's agreeing with you. (laughs) Oh, I'm sorry. I my my. I was misdirected. What was good? Anyway, Eric, I mean, not Eric, Evan and I went and then we went, got our nails done. My pretty pink nails. They're very pretty. Okay. So we're sitting You have like na- little girl hands. I know. I have tiny little nails because I can't grow my oh nails. Oh my God. Aren't they little? You have, have like little, little teenage <laughs> girl hands. <laughs> Oh, as compared no to like bed. lumberjack hands, I well, guess that what I would think I mean, that you would have. I guess I should say thank you. I don't know. And then did we, you stop shucking oysters and like, oh, you know? Yeah. Okay, um, that's why they're so pretty and feminine. And we're at the nail place, and I cannot understand what they're saying to me for the life of me. Mm. All I know is, I agreed to something that made the bill at the end. Evan got Evan got a simple manicure and a simple pedicure. Mm-hmm. No fancy bells, no whistles, just feet in the water and a little bit of scrub and that's it. And she didn't even have a manicure where she put her hands in the water. She, the girl just put polish on her hands. I had gel put on my fingernails and my toes. $150 oh. later, I'm like, what did I agree to? Did they put like some magic dust in my fingernail polish or something? Those nails better last for months. What the heck? I was upselled, sold. Wow. I was upsold on something. I don't know. But I, I'm like, Evan, remember we were going to go on that little shopping spree? Well, there was that. You're all, well, you got your nails done. There you, you go. got your nails done, darling. Then we went to the mall, Fashion Valley, and we just walked around and looked at stuff. And oh, You literally so window close. shopped? Yes, I had no money. I, I, I got half my paycheck this 
week. Oh, that's Because I right. forgot to turn in my time card like a dum-dum. God. So I had no money to spend, which was probably a good thing. Because yes. there were so many cute things in Urban Outfitters. I'm so glad we that were you dying. didn't have a cash flow. I know. It was a good thing, actually. A really it's, good thing. You have to just picture me sitting on your shoulder telling you that everything no, is No, because you're too fierce. You're too... You're no fun. On the other hand, though, he would have like three pairs of shoes under his arms. I would. Thank True. you. Thank yes. you, Brian. You are. You're. <gasps> you are. What do they call it when you're not two faced? You are. Hypocritical? Yes. Thank you. I, I can't. I, my brain is not working today because I totally forgot what we were doing, what Evan and I did for dinner. But anyway, we spent the whole day on Saturday and then on Sunday, which was. Today, we went for a big, long walk in Balboa Park. We took the dog, and she showed me where she worked because she was a camp counselor this summer at Balboa Park. And it was just so fun. You're going to murder me, aren't you? I'm not happy <laughs> at all that you keep getting up and waving at people. <laughs> oh, Please look at stop. Their Please. What? Just wave with your hand. Hi. It's better I anyway. Like, I like pressing it. I know that. It gives me a lot of, it's like you buying some hideous leopard thing. This is not hideous. It's a pretty long boho skirt. Okay. Stop the skirt, it. The skirt's not the problem. That's going out when I clean that bedroom. What's the problem, Brian? The print on the skirt. Come on. You can't tell me that this is not a cute print. I don't really see anyone wear leopard print anymore. I don't you either. You are crazy. There's leopard print everywhere in the I, world. I beg to differ. On leopards, maybe, but mm -mm. where do you see all this leopard print that's, like, hiding? <sighs> Can somebody back me up here? Every place you go, every store you go, it's on shoes, it's on shirts, it's on pants, it's on purses, it's on jewelry. Yeah, like little old lady stores. It's on cups. No. The most I see is like the obligatory, like one or two leopard items in the back corner. Yeah. You must not. Well, obviously you're not looking for it. There's I'm a sign looking above for it. It says reserved for Laura Kane. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's I totally see is. it and I just go. Do, 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 do. Oh, leopard man. print must have it. I must have it. Alfie, do you like leopard print? See, Alfie and I, right there. Right there. He doesn't dislike it. And that was the nice way of saying it. Yeah. Too. I believe him. What? That he like that he doesn't have an opinion one way or the other. If he likes it, he doesn't dislike it. He doesn't well, love it either. Well, but that's I, fine. we'll ask Alfie after you leave the room, and then we'll see. We'll yeah, get back to you. Alfie, just get on. We sit here, please, because this is not working out. <laughs> us just talking to us to like a stranger. Well, will, when she comes, you wait, you'll leave. Will you push the wave? Oh, I. Yeah. This is out. Of, we are out of control. <laughs> out of control. I feel like I'm neglecting our listeners when I don't. Oh my yeah, God. that's what I need. That's I what I need, mommy. I had to put it up there so it gets the, everybody in. See, now Alfie that's will be why, in, too. That's what I need, mommy. If you scoot closer to Eric, then you'll be in, too. Here, there I'll you scoot go. Closer and remember to you. our people on YouTube as well. We can't forget Hi, everybody on YouTube. Hi, oh. Somebody just waved. Now it goes farther, unless it's. This is something. not working for me being up there that far away. Well, when we don't have a guest, we'll put it back down. Oh, on yeah, the table, that's good. Okay. Is that okay? Thanks, mommy. God, you're killing me. <laughs> anyway, I'm done with my host. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Anyway, so I leave you... in a week. A tomorrow, th this time next week, I'll be in Times Square in my hotel room. You'll be, and I'll be, I'll be talking to you off the ledge. Okay. Will you answer your phone if I call? I will. Okay. If I'm not busy. No, I'm kidding. I know. <laughs> no, you're I'm gonna kidding. You're going to be busy. I know I it. Will, I will answer my phone. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Uh, so, hi, Alfie. Hi. Hi, Alfie. Here, turn your little mic. I know. There's a little switch right there. There you go. Now, there he is. For, Do you want this up? No, that's okay. I okay. want you to be 100% honest. And I don't care. <clears throat> I do not. It will not hurt my feelings at all. Do you think this outfit I have on today with the leopard skirt long and this shirt is cute? I do. I do. Thank you, Alfie. It's leopard print. Booyah. He thinks it's cute. Okay. Sucka. I still like Alfie. Don't worry. <laughs> he has good taste. I think there's, I, I agree. I think you guys talked about this before when there's different styles of leopard print. Some look realistic. Some look pretty Agreed. crappy. Yes. So then, yeah, I would say that. I'll say I'm there not, are levels of leopard print. This I, isn't my favorite, but, that one's, but it's that one's okay. Cool. Yeah. 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 It's all right. <laughs> here, I'll put it up here for everybody to see. There we go. There's my leopard print here. skirt. It's nice and long. I got it on Poshmark, which is my favorite website, because it's this is somebody's used clothes. 
Oh buy God. Used clothes. Okay, get it away from me. <laughs> I didn't wash it either. Here we go. <laughs> I don't. I on. put it right get, on. No, don't let it touch me. Oh come on! Don't be so persnickety. Sorry to break out in a rash. Oh stop. <laughs> so what's going on with you, Eric? What's your host chat? Uh, you know, I just got so wrapped up in that. What was I? What was my host chat? I don't know. Oh, I know what it was. <laughs> so last night, I decided I'm not going to go to the gym tonight. I was super tired. So I thought I'm going to just watch a movie. I had to clean my bathroom. I, you know, got into bed and I made the mistake of getting on Instagram. And scroll and scroll and scroll. Yes. So remember Lisa it's Vanderpump. Endless. Yes. Remember uh, you go down a rabbit hole. Oh, yes. You very, do. very quickly. Remember Lisa Vanderpump from of Housewives course. of Beverly Hills. Yes. So she is fighting with Teddy Mellencamp and somebody else, Lisa Renna, I think, of course, um, about that whole puppy gate thing that happened like Still? how many years ago. So she heads up Vanderpump Dogs. So I start going down the slippery slope and reading all the comments and everything. And someone Ooh. says, your film, Road to Yulin, oh, yeah. was amazing. Okay. And I'm thinking, oh. I've never heard of this film. Oh, no, you didn't watch it. Did what you? would that be? Uh oh. I knew about the Yulin dog. It's not a festival. It's where they literally beat dogs to death and then they eat the They feet. eat them. Yeah, they like burn them alive. It, yeah, yeah, it's awful. It's gnarly. Well, probably not the best thing to watch just before bed. Like it started out and I, I, I was like, oh, yeah, they're good. Taking these dogs back, you know, because they were. Is she in it or did she just produce she, it? Or She or? produced it, but then she's in it a little bit, mm. you know, and they're interviewing people and stuff. And then I was like, Holy Mary, Mother of God. I turned it off and I was just like, Please don't let me wake up screaming. They showed everything. Oh my God. I. I was so like, the what purpose the of that was just to show people to get people mad about yes, this. Yes, to get, to, to rise up and it? talk about it because it they're hurting man's best friend. Yeah, and I do. It, it's a great cause. I was just like, oh, you know, because I had to put that thing on my Facebook, you know, because my God, you know, God, you can't show your wiener on Facebook anymore. You get banned. What'd you put on Facebook? I didn't. I'm just saying. They have Facebook has no problem showing people beating dogs and people posting videos of all that horrible, horrible stuff. But my gosh, you say something Facebook like Facebook does. Yeah, they don't let you post stuff like that. Oh do my they? god, yeah. I actually had to put a block on it so that I didn't get that negative stuff. Really? Yeah, it was really bad. And you get banned for saying like something stupid, on, <laughs> like what comments? I said. What I said to Karen, like. She had tarantulas in her house. I was like, oh, I'd burn my house down and I got banned for 30 days. Yeah. He gets banned all the time. All the time. For nothing. I think we're shadow banned, whatever that means. I do too. On Facebook. Like I could say hi to somebody the wrong way and I'd get banned for 30 days. I know. We have like 5,000 friends on our Facebook page. I know. But I get like two comments. Does that make sense? Or people just don't are not fond of us. I think Facebook is just not what it was. You it's know, not. Years it's, ago. it's do people? I mean, is nope. it is it is it older people? No one my age acted like I have a Facebook, but I haven't used it in years. When had, was the last time you logged on to your Facebook? Even I'll get back to you on that one. Oh it's really? Been a while. And <laughs> Alfie, you're on Facebook, but you don't use it either. Yeah, I mean, I'm not on Instagram. I mean, I'm on Instagram too, but I'm not really on it. I don't. You're not active. No, I rarely, rarely, rarely post stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever bought anything off of Instagram? No. Really? No. no. Uh -uh. Oh my gosh. No. What did you buy? Yeah, I've bought stuff. I mean, I don't buy directly off Instagram, but if I see something I like and it's not like, you know. A yeah, they have the I, link and you yeah. just follow I always the push the, the link. It's not oh. a shady company. I no. just, I actually just ordered a shirt though, not off of Instagram or Facebook. It's, you know, where I get. I have some really good t-shirts. Oh yeah, that t-shirt company. Love them. Yeah. Uh-huh. That same brand and yes. that same style. And it oh, it God. has an orange slice and a glass and it says drink your juice, Shelby. And that's funny. Why? Because it's from Steel Magnolias. Oh. Drink your juice, Shelby. Okay, Don't you nobody remember? Nobody will get that. No one will get oh, that. Oh well. Uh, people people will get it, trust me. I don't me. know about Lots that. Of people have seen Steel Magnolias. I, yeah. But 
not for like 10 years or 20 years. When did it come out? Bite 20 years ago? your tongue. It is a classic. <laughs> oh Old movies cane. still get watched. I've bought teeth whitening stuff. I bought magnetic eyelashes. I've bought like, there's this hair thing. It's like a big long tube and it comes with two clips and you put the tube Wait, down you your bought hair. that? Yes. Oh boy. You take this tube and you bend it. You bend the tube over your head and then you take your hair and you wind it around this like little tube and then you clip it, clip it, and you sleep on it and you take it out and it's supposed to make your hair go woo and real beautiful and curly. Just like hair rollers? Yes, but you sleep on it and you don't have to, it's not heat. I would recommend doing that on a night where you're not seeing Alfie. Um, Me it's too. Precisely because it did not turn out well at oh, all. Oh, okay. Oh. It was not cute. It was still, still wet and I think I put it in too wet. It, would look, it was uh, a disaster. What, yeah. what about sticking your <laughs> strand of hair in the Coke can and blow drying the Coke oh, can? Oh gosh, I forgot to bring the Coke can. There's a thing on Instagram where you stick your piece of hair in the open uh, the mouth part of the Coke can, you stick it down in there, empty, obviously. You take a hair dryer, you put it up to the can, you put it on, you blow it on the can, then you take it off, and it's supposed to make your hair this perfect curl. It curls your hair. What happened last time we tried something from Instagram? It didn't hair. work, did it? Right. <laughs> the tortilla challenge? Oh, no. oh yeah, that, that was disaster. us slapping the crap out of each other with a tortilla. You know tortilla. what's really funny? They had... Um, Dwayne Johnson and Kevin Hart did that. Oh my I god! I saw the video of that it was like a little clip on was Instagram it funny? or something. Oh my god, that one was. Incredible. Oh, did they incredible. do it the same way? Where, did, yeah, did they... yeah. I think it was Rochambeau, and then they had water in their mouths, and they were just. But it was so. Yeah. <laughs> it was so funny. Speaking of a movie, what? Guess what I watched last night? I couldn't even guess. It was awesome. It just came out on Netflix. It's called Day Shift. And it's with Jamie oh, Foxx. I'm going to watch that, yeah. It's oh, it's it done. was awesome. Yeah. Is it a funny show? Is no, it a funny movie? Is it's, it it's, a, is it? it's kind of like an action thriller with a little bit of humor, and he's a vampire hunter. Okay. And the first, like, <laughs> 10 minutes, I was like, oh, I thought it's I was like going really to have to... really gory. And yeah, I thought right, I was going to have to strap yeah. myself in. It looks good. It, looks it was really good. great. What did you guys just watch on Netflix? A movie? I just watched Prey last night. Ooh, was that good? It's unbelievable. It was, it's easily the best in the whole... Is it on Netflix? Movie. It's on Hulu. Oh, oh Hulu. it is on Hulu. That's right. It was unbelievable. Okay. And that's Better than with all Idris, the Predator movies. Idris combined. Elba, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is I can't wait. Is that a prequel or a sequel it's to the... It's a prequel to, like, before the... Original Predator with Arnold. Okay. Can't wait. It was and that's about aliens and it was stuff? Incredible. It's incredible. I mean, yeah, it's about aliens, technically. Yeah. Is the monster a good monster? I need to get Hulu. Is it um, scary? He's good at being a monster. Sort of. I mean, it's like... It's, he's an alien, know, but he's not the alien. Because there's the other movie series, Alien. Yeah. So Predator and Alien fight at some point. And they do like Alien versus oh, Predator. Oh, yeah. I, c- I think I remember Ooh. that. So you know it just yeah. came out? Yeah. Oh, we got to watch it when you get back. What? Remember the movie Orphan about the the little girl and it turned out to be a full blown yes. grown ass woman. Yes. That terrorized that family. The the prequel just came out, Orphan First Kill. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> on what? I, Where did that come out? It's on Paramount Plus. Oh, okay. And it's also in theaters, coming soon to theaters is near it you. A horror movie? Because there's that yes. there's the real case that actually happened. Is this loosely based on yes. that? Yes. That where she killed. And people. the first one had a great cast. It had um Peter Skarsgård, um, Vera Farmiga. It had a great cast. And this Isabella Furman, she she was 11 when the movie first came out, and now she's 20. And wow. it, it's, yeah, it's awesome. I can't wait. Evan and I just finished watching something that's kind of, it's not old, but it came out maybe two years ago. It's called Nine Perfect Strangers with oh, Nicole Kidman. Yeah. Okay, so it, it it's good, mm-hmm. and then it's good. And then it gets better. And then the last episode was unbelievable. I cried and I hardly okay. ever cry at movies. And I'm going to need to then invest time. I, got, I could good. barely get through the first episode. Oh, it's so sad. It's Is it? so sad. Oh, my God. This family dealing with the death of a son and like they're they go to this retreat to try to help them. It, she gives them psychedelics and they don't know that they're being drugged. And so. They yeah, see their son, and it's it. like, oh my god, it's so sad. Yeah, I'm not a fan of sad movies. Oh my god, I didn't. It was, but it was good. It was really good. There are like good sad, like pursuit of happiness, and you there know. are, but I don't go seeking a sad movie. <laughs> I mean, you only watch it once. 
Every once in a while, don't you feel like watching something sad? I Just watch Beaches all the, the time. No. Beaches is, is a sad movie too, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, does that hold up? Beaches yeah. Does? Mm-hmm. You're the wind beneath my wings. You're the wind beneath my wings. Thanks. That's so nice. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. What? I know. Barf, right? Uh. And I'm watching this. I'm starting to watch. You me. That was, what was that from? Cherry McGuire. There we go. Manti Tao. Is that how you say his name? He was the football player who was catfished. Oh. He went to Notre Dame. He oh. was like a star. Monty Tao. I thought you were trying to pronounce Monty Python at first. And I was like, that's not. No, cool. I know Monty <laughs> Python. Uh, no, he, uh, I don't know. It's a whole new Netflix series and it's called, I forgot what it's called. It just came out and it's like this crazy story about this girlfriend who never existed. Oh, yeah. Did you see? It's called it's something like that. The girl, the girl, something. Yeah. It's good. And one of the football players that he played with is now a woman. And that's kind of weird seeing him being what? interviewed as a woman. Yeah. Um, Transition. What are you looking up on your phone? The net, the oh, Netflix. It's I've called like the girl in the... The girl in the picture. The girl in the... Was it the girl in the or picture? The girl in the photograph or the girl in the... Something. something. Yeah. Anyway. Did anything else come out on... Oh, we're watching Uncoupled now too. Evan oh, isn't it good? Is that something that I should continue watching? Or is yeah, it getting it's, raunchy at all? No, it's sexually? not super... No, it's not super raunchy. Uh-uh. It's with uh, Neil Patrick Harris and he... His partner moves out on him after 17 years together. The girlfriend who didn't exist. Thank you. Is what it's called. You're welcome. Thank you. Yes. 17 years and the, the partner just is like, bye. Yeah, I know. Bye, I'm out. Yeah. Not already, seeing anybody else, just out. Already got. Oh, our guest is here, but you got to do your, your daily dirt first. Let's oh, do I do. Daily dirt. Hi, yeah, there's Dr. not. Dr. Riedler. Sit, have a seat. And then Hi, we'll get, we're going to do his daily dirt and then we'll get right to you. Oh my God, she's so pretty. <laughs> Pardon? Yes, it's live. No problem. <laughs> um, oh, so what's going on in daily dirt? I think the only thing that anybody's going to care about. I know what you're going to say. JLo and Ben had a second wedding in Georgia. Who cares? I do. (laughs) It was a big, big, big wedding, wasn't it? It was star studded. I bet. And um, everybody was kind of wondering if, so I think Mark Anthony went, but Jennifer Garner did not. Oh. And then Casey Affleck didn't go. Ben's brother. Are they fighting? I don't know. Well, there might be a good reason for that. I'll call Casey and ask him. Okay. Do you know who else went? <laughs> uh, no, I haven't received the guest list yet. Oh, my gosh. I I'm sure j will send views. it. To, I'm sure I'll call Jen and get it. I'm Did sure you see me. her dress? Uh, yes. And thoughts? <laughs> it was white. Well, was it pretty? Was it puffy? Was it thin? Big, was big it... black tire track in it. What? Was it nice? Yeah, it was nice. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I haven't seen any pictures other than like an aerial shot of the actual wedding. I just have a question. What? What are the Vegas odds? How long do you think this wedding's going to last? This is round two, isn't it? Yeah, Yeah. they didn't get married the first time. No. They were together. They were were engaged. Right? But they didn't didn't tie the knot. I'm going to say five years. Ooh, that's... That's very liberal. I know. I think if they make it five years, they'll make it the entire way. Why did they break up in the, fir- the first round, though? Uh, probably somebody else well, walked by that she thought was more attractive. Or didn't he? she get back together with Mark Anthony? Weren't they together before him? And then no, him? but then they did a movie together, and that really sunk the ship. Don't do a movie together and don't get a tattoo. No, never get a tattoo. <laughs> like, I, w- I will We've not. We've established the tattoo thing. Yes, yes. I am not getting it. I'm not getting a tattoo with your name on it. I don't think it matters if friends. No, I'm still not doing it. But if it. we're lovers, then you can't get no, a tattoo. No, I'm not. Especially a face tattoo with somebody's name on oh, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll just put like Laura on your Kane. eyebrow. Yeah. Put it on the. In I'll the put inside Laura of your lip. over one eyebrow and then Kane over yeah. the other. Dr. Reedler could probably do that for you during your little She would surgery. never do that to me. <laughs> Maybe the removal. Maybe <laughs> she would the removal. never do that to <laughs> me. The removal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's Ben and JLo. What else? Um, another topic that I don't care about. Scott Disick was involved in a single car crash. Who cares? Is he start, still part of the family? I doubt it. Okay. I know I sound horrible, don't I? You're very negative right now. 
<laughs> you're negative when it comes to celebrities right now. I'm not sure why. Well, because th- nobody's doing anything right now. I think last week, with everything that happened, with nobody, everybody's kind of laying low. What do you mean with everything that happened last week? Well, like week? with Anne Hage and then all that oh. stuff. Yeah. So I think everybody's kind of staying out of trouble I right see. now. So remember Leah Michelle? Yeah, from Glee. Uh-huh. The one that everybody does not like. Right. She just landed the role of Fanny Price in Funny Girl on Is Broadway. That Barbara Streisand's role? Yeah. So okay. I wonder how many people she's going to make mad at doing this. She's going to become a huge diva if yeah, she's not already. Yeah, for sure. I know. And one of my favorite shows on Netflix... I Selling can't sunsets. get into it. I don't why? know why. I don't know why. I, th- I get jealous. I get jealous of the the wealth and the opulence and like it's the kind beauty. of like it's like, kind it's of like you, how you much. feel when you walk through my home, isn't it? <laughs> yes, yeah, too much. It's just too much. I'm like, this is not realistic. This is not reality, and it makes me annoyed. So you I don't love watch my closet. it. Your closet's pretty outstanding. <laughs> you love my closet. <laughs> I'm going to love going through it and throwing <laughs> things away. <Shut> up. <laughs> anyway, what happened? Um, they're looking for a new villain because Quiz- Christine Quinn is not returning. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are they actively looking for a new villain? Or- yes. And this is I'm- supposed to be reality. They cannot going to. Well, well they casting it obviously. Fake reality. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember when it was like the dead ass hot middle of summer, and she was looked like Big Bird with that big furry. Who? Feathery jack, yellow jacket on Christine, just I, dining in L.A. Is that what happened? I don't know. I don't. It was probably Fendi or Louis Vuitton or something, so it probably cost a, you know. Tomorrow. Yes. We're having on Jody, so I can have a proper discussion about ninety day fiance because this is today is the uh, <clears throat> the final final of the tell all. And you don't watch it, so we can't talk about it. No. And Alfie's not here Wait, all the time, so, so I am going to have Jody come our, on. Our Jody, yes. So, are you going to have a hot flash when she's here? Why would you say that in front of my oh <laughs> much younger boyfriend? He's got headphones oh, on. Nice. Have you have you talked to her about that comment she made <laughs> that night? She apologized, but she's like, "Oh, I didn't mean to say it." That I'm like, well. I think I she should apologize to Eric because Eric got the brunt of that. I know. <laughs> I, I totally did. got nailed. To I thought it was yeah. you. I thought it was you. Yeah. yeah. I never come out unscathed. She's like, it's because you were talking about your nipple problem. I'm like, I know. And she's like, and I said that that happened to me when I went through menopause. I didn't actually say you were going through menopause. I'm like, oh my God. Or she did. She asked me if I was. I was like, I don't know. Leave yeah. me alone. Jody and I must have the same voice. My Clearly. God. <laughs> My God! <laughs> Clearly, now well, it's like completely not. Let me let me retract subject. that statement. Um, yeah, can you not mention the M word, please? Sure. Okay. Are you done? By the way, I'm. Yeah, poke me with a fork. Can we please have your surgeon on now? Yes, okay. I'm so excited. We're very excited. Bye, everyone. Bye, Bye Alfie. Alfie. We'll see you on the next episode. Um, we have Dr. Kirsten Riedler from La Jolla Cosmetics. She is probably the world's most beautiful Hi. cosmetic surgeon that's ever been walked the face of the earth. How are you? Good, how are you? Come Good. and talk right into this mic. No, There's your headphones if you want to wear those. Here, I'll scoot over a little bit. So talk into the mic like you're kissing the mic because these need these are very like not Here, good. I'll drag you over. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh my gosh. When you went to school, were you, you, and you need to be honest with me. Yes. Were you like hands down the most beautiful person in your class? You had no. to have been. You had no. to have been. No. I mean, people look at you and <laughs> say, you're a cosmetic surgeon. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. No. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. But no, there were, you'd, you'd be surprised. I don't, you mean in college? I mean, yeah, Harvard isn't known for its attractive. Um, you went to students. Harvard? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. That's now amazing. I feel so even I thought you better. were asking that because. Well, I was asking school. Well, I didn't yeah, know I just you had thought, gone to Harvard. Oh, well, I just really thought we were cool. just saying Harvard students aren't known for being attractive, but. Um, wow. Which they're not, but they, but. Well, because I mean, they're super smart. I mean, yeah, but there are, there are a lot of smart people. There are a lot of attractive too, were I'd you say. involved in any clubs at Harvard? Isn't there that one club like that? It's a funny club. What's it the called? Lampoon? Yes. Yes. I'm 
not particularly funny. I'm not like you guys, so is that, <laughs> I was not invited to the class. I know that about Harvard, and I know about um, Facebook started there, right? Yeah. Okay. That was when I was there, actually. I was a freshman, yeah. Did you know him? <laughs> I mean, I met him like once or twice, but I wasn't, I wouldn't say I was friends with him or anything like that. Really? Wow. He was, uh, I think, a year or two ahead of me. And then there was the guy that Army Hammer played. Who was that? That uh, guy, the other guy in the network. Uh, oh, in the social the, network? The oh, social I don't remember. Network. Oh, my God. That was so interesting to me. Well, anyway, I fell asleep the show. during that movie, so <laughs> I, cu- I could did? not. Oh, yes. Oh, oh my God. God. All right. We're having you on to talk about Eric's upcoming surgery, which he's very excited. Mm-hmm. Also a bit nervous, but that's to be I'm, expected. I'm actually less nervous knowing that you went to Harvard. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm just trying to instill more confidence in you. <laughs> did you do all your years at Harvard or did yeah. you? So how many years did you go? Well, I was there for four years uh-huh. for college. And then I went to med school at USC. So oh, okay. And then residency there too. And then fellowship after that. And La Jolla Cosmetic is, is this like your first or your second or your third? Uh, um, second. Yeah. Second practice I've been at. Awesome. They're so lucky to have you. Yeah, I'm so lucky to be there. They are so (laughs) the greatest people ever. They really are. Oh my gosh. So Eric's getting what's called a lower bluff. So can you Mm -hmm. explain to us what's going to happen to Eric on, what's the date? (laughs) November 9th. Okay, so what's the process? What happens? (laughs) On the day of surgery? Yes. So you come in, you change into a gown. And then anesthesiologist meets with you. I meet with you. The nurse meets with you. We just, you know, go over when was the last time you ate, all the, you know, all the important pre-surgery things. Any questions? Make sure you're comfortable. And then you just walk right into surgery and into the OR, lay down and... Night, night. Think about (laughs) about where you want to be. And then you wake up and it's all over, essentially. So while he's in la-la land, what are you doing? So... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so, I mean, I start by, by marking out, you know, what we're going to do, where, where the fat pads, I was very impressed that you re- recalled that there were three fat pads in the mm-hmm. lower island <laughs> that we're going to work Does on. Does everybody have three fat pads? Every, in the lower? Everybody has, has three. Um, it, I it, look like I have six. Why are his puffy? <laughs> so, huh? Why are his puffy? What question. happens? So what happens is there's basically a hammock, um, that holds your fat pads in your, in your orbit, in your eye socket. And as we get older, everything starts to kind of get droopy and saggy and less strong. And so that hammock starts to kind of bulge forward because it's weaker. And then you start seeing the fat kind of bulge out of your out of your eye socket, essentially. But it's attached to the orbital rim, the eye socket down here. So that's why you get that kind of indentation here where it's still tight, but it's loose above there. His hammock is broke. <laughs> Yeah, he needs a tighter hammock. I do. <laughs> so what do you do? To, to, do you just take out the fat pads or do you push, push them back in? We don't take them out completely, but we we tease a little bit of fat out of it and take out the extra that's bulging to, to make it flat, essentially. And are we doing anything else with respect to his eyes? Are we push it, pulling anything or tightening anything? Well, or? there's a little... There's a, little bit of extra skin so if we if we reduce the fat with and left all the skin it would be a little crepey kind of yeah kind of crepey saggy so we could do laser resurfacing or something like that but i often like to just trim the excess we're already in there right so trim a little bit of the excess skin and then tighten the muscle um so that you have a nice flat i'm sure he told you this but he's he's (laughs) deathly afraid of Looking Becoming, like Kenny Rogers. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, he did. Obviously, he did she say didn't that. tell me that. Right. That's like his I think I even concern. wrote that in your in your note in the chart. <laughs> There's no way possible. Uh, I was thinking about it actually earlier today, and you know, I don't know what I don't know what Kenny Rogers has done, but I think it would take multiple, numerous procedures and surgeries over the course of m- many years to. A, accomplish that kind of result that, i don't think we could even accom- if you told came and told me you want me to make you look like that i don't think i could do it in one try <laughs> <laughs> what else should you have done while you're under what i said what else should you have done while you're under do you want to get a little botox or something no. Botox. Uh-uh, no what else can nothing. i nothing 
what else does he need? No, no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you as a doctor can't say that. I know that. <laughs> what I also found really interesting because I was doing, um, I was hosting a podcast for La Jolla Cosmetic when Monique oh, yeah. was out mm-hmm. and we were talking about the liquid nose job. Oh, yeah. And you are like kind of on the forefront of that. So I was kind of wondering what is that? What, yeah. What, who would be benefit from a liquid nose job? So liquid nose job is basically just using filler and injecting filler into various parts of the nose to change the appearance of the nose without surgery. So it can be a good option for people who have like a hump, but they have kind of a deep depression above it. And if you fill in that depression, you can basically camouflage the hump. Um, Um, That's cool. Yeah, so that's one good use for it. Also, people who have like any asymmetries after rhinoplasty surgery, um, people who have a kind of a flat or like low bridge and want it to look narrower and taller, use filler for that too. Dang. Yeah. It, out of the all the surgeries, sorry, oh, out of cool. all the surgeries to your face, which is the one that's the most, uh, the most difficult or the most uh, time consuming. I would say probably rhinoplasty. I was going to say, is, yeah. that hard, is that hard to uh, recover from or is that uh, well, the the recovery, right there on your face? Yeah. Well, you everything I it. do is on your face. True. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. To, it's hard to hide after after facial plastic surgery. But I mean, the recovery after rhinoplasty, it's, it's honestly not as bad as y- you might think. I mean, you're bruised and swollen for a good week. The pain really isn't that bad from what patients tell me. No, people don't really complain about that much pain. It's more the stuffy nose that bothers just people. Just uncomfortable. Yeah, and... just uncomfortable. Because it's it, packed, right? It's with... not packed, but um, I often will put splints with kind of breathing holes in them. And those can get kind of clogged after a few days. So they they feel a lot better when they come in a week later and I, I take those out and then they're, then they're kind of smooth sealing. So I forget because I was kind of, um, what is my recovery time going to be? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so because here's the one thing, sorry okay. to interrupt you. you I can should do stretches prob- on the floor. Uh, what? I said you can do stretches oh, on the floor. Okay, great. <laughs> I'll, I'll fall asleep. So I know. But- <laughs> Um, probably the thing I shouldn't have done was watch YouTube videos oh, yeah. of why it's usually not a good idea. Did you do that? What? Why did you do that? I, I don't know. When I had my Achilles tendon repaired because I ruptured my Achilles Oof. tendon, everybody said, Oh no, go on and look at the oh, surgery. No. And I was like, why, yeah. why would I do that? So you looked up the lower bluff surgery Yeah. and what is shocked you? Well, people were saying, Oh, it took eight months to recover. What? Uh, That's ridiculous. Okay, thank God. <laughs> Even I know I was that. Like, I don't have eight months. To- <laughs> no, I mean usually I recommend two weeks of like no exercise, heavy lifting, anything like that. You'll have some bruising and swelling for sure, um, and you'll the incision will be a little bit a little bit pink for a few weeks. But I would say after two weeks, you'll feel very comfortable seeing people going out and all that. I don't know if you're planning on taking two weeks off of your podcast. No, but you, I'm just going to come in. But oh, yes, the, you need to come in during the, all the stages. <laughs> uh, well, what do you think I'm going to do? I don't know. I thought, I'm going right back to work. The next day? Can he? No. Okay, good. How, how no. much are you taking off? Like a couple days. Is that okay? I would plan to take a week off. Can you take okay. a week? You yeah. can. You have that much time. Yeah. Do what the doctor says. Please. I know. No, I'm definitely <laughs> listening to her. Oh my gosh. I'm not just going to go, you know. I would take a week off. Okay. What do you do the most of surgery Gosh, wise? Um, probably a mix between rhinoplasty and facial aging surgery, which includes facelift, neck lift, upper, lower blepharoplasty, brow lift, all those things, fat transfer. What is a, like, what do you take care of in the lower facelift? Does that also include the neck? Does that just so, include like saggy jowls? So, when I talk about different people will, you know, have different terminology for, for it. But when I say facelift, I usually mean like face and neck lift because it's 
really difficult or impossible to lift your neck without lifting your face also. Where's mm. it going to go, right? Right. So when I do a face, like a lower facelift, which uh, treats the jowls, you know, sagging, sagging cheeks and all of that, um, I assess the neck too and always lift the neck. And then typically that also involves some amount of removing excess fat from the neck or tightening the platysma muscle, which is a muscle right here. Are the, what are those two lines that come That's down? the platysma, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I've seen, like, there's like a, there was a study that they wanted people that had those two lines oh, really? for some study. I was like, ooh, I, those lines. Where is are, that? Like, they're, like, the lines that oh, come right here. Oh, I have here. that. You do the two lines? Uh-huh. Oh, my gosh. Uh-oh. <laughs> How many surgeries Uh-oh. can you do at once? <laughs> Quite a few. <laughs> No, I mean, honestly, like, how many would you do at, at once? What's the, your max? Okay, well, I don't think about it as... Let's see. I want to so, get my nose done. I want my eyes done. Oh. And I want a lower facelift. No, I'm just saying, if I would, if I came to you... That would be a little you, bit much. I probably wouldn't recommend doing all that at once. Um, <laughs> you I would do, I'm not, I would do, me. I would do nose and eyes at the same time. That's fine. Um, face and eyes, we commonly do it at, at the same time. Okay. But doing like face, eyes, neck, nose, all at once, I wouldn't recommend. You'd be you'd be out for about nine months. <laughs> it's okay. Nine months. I'd look like I was 10, 12, 20 years younger. That's fine. Um, How long does my surgery take? Um, it takes about an hour. Oh, okay. Yeah. What, is a boob job less or more? I don't know. I don't do boob jobs, but... I- <laughs> I guess it depends on who your surgeon is, but honestly, I... Dr. Swiston. <laughs> Hi. Dr. Swiston. I don't know how long it was, but I'm wondering if mine is longer than yours. If mine's going to be Yours is longer. I, I think yours probably. might be longer. No. Because yours is more delicate. Hour. Yours is a little bit more delicate. Yeah, but Dr. Riedler just said an hour. I I'm know. going with that. You, <laughs> okay. They have to like do all that stuff with your nipple, nips and stuff. Like <laughs> put them back on so that they don't want stop pointing north and <laughs> south. Them on, putting them back <laughs> so, on. Yeah. So that, all so right. I have a couple of questions from some of my friends. Mm-hmm. Can you please tell us more about facial threads? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So threads, they're called PDO threads. I, I, let me ask you this. Yes. What? What's the difference between threads and then like a lower facelift? And mm-hmm. why is one better than the other or is it? So th- they accomplish different things and they have different recovery times. Okay. Definitely. So the PDO threads, generally a good rule is it, it can do what you can do with your finger. So it can accomplish like that much lift. Okay. Whereas like a face and neck lift can do what you can do with your hands. So... I see. More of a, more of a lift. Um, the threads, they last up to a year uh, because they dissolve. Um, but they do promote some collagen production, which can potentially last longer. Um, the recovery is, you know, you, you can have some bruising for, I would say, up to a week. But you can really go back to your usual activities for the most part within a day. And how do you get them on down in there? Um, so they, so with a, a needle and a cannula. And this is all not under anesthesia at all? No. Oh, I'd have to be under anesthesia. <laughs> <laughs> no, they put a little bit of numbing stuff. Numbing, yeah, yeah. Okay, so my other friend wanted to know, she says, when I, when I bend forward and my arm goes forward, I see crepiness. Is there anything to do, in or the anything arm? you can do with crepiness in the arm and also crepiness in the knees? Well... So, like, lasers and all therapy can be helpful. On your for, arms? You can, yeah, you can do, I mean, you can do lasers anywhere, really. But the, the settings are different for the body than for the face. But you can do, do lasers there. Um, people have been actually using the PDO threads any, almost anywhere you can think of. Really? Yeah. Really? Wow. Yeah, like, for knees, that's actually a common place where people like to use so threads. fascinating i love all this stuff yeah so much. it is so all, all i heard was needle and i started <laughs> to sweat <laughs> you can have lots of needles in your face uh, soon <laughs> or one big giant needle <laughs> hey. it's okay you're gonna be asleep i know good <laughs> okay yeah <laughs> you're gonna be in, on vacation somewhere <laughs> yeah <laughs> um but what about the arms like uh, tightening the skin on the arms yeah how do you do so that so there's always, laser there's always surgery 
Oh, you can do arm surgery? Mm -hmm. Yeah, people that have lost a lot of weight. Yeah. Oh, that's right. They do that skin tightening. Brachioplasty. Mm -hmm. Brachioplasty. Okay. Where you remove the excess skin, essentially. Get rid of the creepiness. Okay. So when my granny flops become real, (laughs) real real problem, I can get rid of that? Your bingo (gasps) arms? Yes. Dr. Swiston. I know. (laughs) <laughs> Love me some Dr. Swiston. <laughs> so what, is there anything new on the market that we should be getting excited about? Let's see. The threads. Up Neek is a... What's Up Neek? It's an eye drop that op- basically help, raises your eye, upper eyelid so your eyes are more open. If you How is that possible? What? Um, it works on a, one of the elevator muscles in the, in the upper eyelid and opens up your eyelid. How long does that last? Uh, last about eight hours. Wow. Yeah. Can you just get it? I, I take it you can't you're like, get it. Am I, you're like going to do that instead of surgery? <laughs> no. <laughs> does not help with the, the, the lower. Oh, no, or the upper. But, <laughs> can you get it like at CBS? No, <laughs> you can get it at our practice though. <laughs> oh, okay. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are the you? TNS. He is like obsessed with the oh, TNS. Oh, the TNS. Yeah. <laughs> the double pump. Oh, yeah. my. I know. It comes in two comes out two different holes now, right? Yeah, it comes out oh two different holes. God. You rub it together. You get yeah. it when you go to La Jolla yeah, next to. time. You yeah, need to. for sure. Yes. So, up Neek, is there anything else that's... Any mm. kind of surgeries that that are, ha- like, on the brink of happening or that well, are, I mean, are, are new to La Jolla Cosmetic, maybe? I would say... I mean, a lip lift is not something that's necessarily What's a lip new, lift? But oh it's gosh. getting more... I would say more common. Um, it's... So... As we age, the the upper lip kind of starts to droop, and then your your the pink part of your lip sort of disappears into your mouth. Oh, do you get thinner? Looks and like it gets, thinner lips. It gets really yeah thin. Um, and so something we do either alone or with you know other facial aging surgery is we take out a, a little strip of skin right under the nose, and that lifts the upper lip, and it and it shortens the skin part of the lip. Wow. Gosh, that sounds so cool. painful. No, I would not. no, not at all. You're asleep, no. right? Yeah, you're, I mean, we oh, can't. Do you, need, you don't have you to don't be asleep? You don't have to be asleep, cool. actually. Cool. Just. <laughs> oh, my God. There you God. go. <laughs> Heck no. Oh, my gosh. They can, uh, and. There is such thing called local anesthetic, which makes you very numb. <laughs> okay, I just, that, oh, my gosh. One day, and from the, your practice, yeah, yeah. Cosmetic came in and um, cause she gave me some, um, oh, I have to ask you about Sculpture too. Oh, Sculpture, yeah. So I think she gave me Sculpture in the hollows of my mm-hmm. temples and she was giving me Botox too. And she came in and threads and she came in, she had this giant ball of needles. And I was like, yes, bring it on, I love it. Give me more needles. I want them in my face right now. Oh. It's so addicting. It's I so would have, you would have had to pick me, scrape me oh, up off was, the floor. I was excited. <laughs> So sculpture, what about that? Yeah, Where sculpture can you is use something that? that I really liked too. People are coming up with all kinds of places to use that as well. Like where? But, it, well, it is FDA approved for use in the face. So it's a great, it's a filler, but it's not like the usual gel fillers that we talk about or that we think of when we say filler. Um, it's a biostimulatory filler. So it causes production of collagen which is great because we actually lose 1% of our, the collagen in our skin every year once we hit age 30. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That hurts. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. So it's good for skin quality and like the fine lines and wrinkles and just overall facial volume because we lose volume and fat in our face as we age and that contributes to the wrinkles and folds. So it's great for that. If some, my friend of mine wants to do she would love to have a facelift, but mm-hmm. she cannot go under because oh. of some, some other medical problems. Mm-hmm. What would you suggest for her for pulling and tightening and, mm-hmm. and stuff? What would you, a combination of things? Maybe? Yeah, a combination of things usually. So we have a lot of minimally invasive or non-invasive options, but typically it's a combination because what happens as we age is our skin quality changes um, and we get kind of uneven skin tone, um, skin texture changes. So lasers are great for that, for the pigment and for the skin quality and tightening. And then for like lifting and volume, fillers are great. I wouldn't say they 
exactly lift, but they help reposition the volume in your face. And so that helps a lot. Um, and then there are other devices like microneedling, radiofrequency, O-therapy, which is ultrasound based, that help with the actual tightening of the tissues too. So there are a lot of things that we can do if, you know, for example, you can't undergo general anesthesia. Is Sculptra pricey? Um, do you know how much it is? Yeah, I believe, gosh, I don't want to get in trouble for it. You can give it. me like a but it's around, here and here. It's around like $900 a vial. And generally, it, we recommend one vial per decade of age. Oh. Yeah. You mean one vial total for your face? Well, one vial per decade. So if you're oh, 40. Oh, I see what you're saying. So I if see you're what 40, you're then okay. four vials. I get it. Okay, now I get oh, it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's a lot of vials. Wow. <laughs> Not all at once. We do two vials at a time. Oh, I was like doing the calculations in my head. I was like, geez. I... Are you taking new patients? Oh, absolutely. All the time? All the time. If you want to get a hold of Dr. <laughs> Kirsten Riedler, then you could either DM us, Laura Kane After Dark, so easy, or just call La Jolla Cosmetic mm -hmm. and say you want a consultation. Yeah. Are the consultations free yes, at La Jolla Cosmetic? And mm -hmm. then you can ask her anything you want and then... Oh my gosh, yep. that's so exciting. I'm excited for you, I'm excited for you. Do I get to wear the thing where I look like a football player? I get the two little white strips that go under my eyes? You're welcome to. <laughs> oh. Go right ahead, be our guest. <laughs> you can write little names We will on give stuff. you a special ice pack that is, is, is over your eyes and helps. What's it gonna look like right when he gets out of surgery? When so if I were to pick right, him up. Like Dr. Riedler punched me in the face. <laughs> no. no. What, like, what do you have on? <laughs> oh, just we just give you the ice pack to go out. Oh. oh. Yeah. So he... It's not like... No bandages or anything? No. Are there liquid bandages? Or no. How is... Or liquid stitches? Like, what do you um, use? So, for the lower eyelid, I use mostly dissolvable stitches. And then on the side, um, some stitches, a, a few stitches that I remove a week later. But mostly dissolvable. So... I know. You're gonna look so good. I know. I'm excited. Yeah. Marla is so. I bet she's oh my thrilled. God. Oh my, my god. My best friend. Yeah, I saw her on your show. Too. Oh yeah. She. Oh yeah. I was. I was getting ready to come here. I was putting my mascara on. I was. I had to turn your show off because I was crying. Oh, about the ashes. The ashes. <laughs> the ashes and the stretches on the floor. And then... <laughs> My God, I am a train wreck. Oh, I swear to mess. God, it ha I think uh, I have narcolepsy. So I, it did occur to me that that might be. I yeah, know. I mean, I was. I it's mean, not the first time it's happened. It could have just been a really calm maybe because stretch. he works a full time job and then does the podcast like yeah, on Monday nights and then he's like exhausting. super tired. Yeah, that could and then it was a, yeah, and then it was at night after a long day. And yeah, all and the then floor I myself and... am exhausting. So. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any more yeah. questions for your doctor before you actually see no, her? No, I'm super I excited to see you in October. Yay, me too. Yeah, because the pre-op consultation is in October. Yeah. The and end then of you October. get all your stuff. And then, then I'm oh, getting all you're supposed gussied to take. up. Yeah. We'll mm -hmm. have your TNS ready for you. Yeah. <laughs> What's TNS? Oh, the yeah. TNS, the, the stuff. Yeah, the serum. Oh, or, my gosh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, it is great. Skincare is important. It is. It is. It's not cheap but it's worth it yeah. it totally is like my bathroom counter looks like something you, he gets all this see stuff from no you see it at tj maxx because that's where no, he gets all his no i use the ordinary <laughs> which is okay yeah yeah but you use stuff from tj maxx what he gets for 5.99 I, I i swear he does i have but i use i use hair products from tj maxx but see. yeah that's fine yeah and your hair looks great thanks so does yours. But facial, I like, just got a cut. I don't know. Facial stuff? I, uh, well, I... Skincare, I mean, just because it's a TJ Maxx doesn't mean it's poor quality. But it's but. probably a little bit down the line on before it expires. Expiration date, yes. yes. I would agree with that. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But that's I do use there. Murad. Yeah, that's probably, that's a good one, My right? My serum, yeah. Skinceuticals, that's the one we like, mm -hmm. right? Skinceuticals okay. is good. Yes. Too. Well, Dr. Riedler, thank you so much for Thanks coming so much in. Thanks for having me. Oh, my thank gosh. You. Such a blast. You are just amazing. <laughs> I'm so in awe of you, and I, I'm there. Oh. So I love La Jolla Cosmetic. I love that you're there. It's just a perfect fit, it seems like. Yeah, I really love it. I'm so happy to be there. And, and you really put me at ease, I have to say. I'm so glad. On our consultation, yeah. He I was, was so, super nervous. No. <laughs> yes. I bet he was going to, like, pull the trigger. I don't think he was going to pull the trigger. Oh, I wasn't. Oh, no. really? Yeah, he was, no, like, iffy. I was, yeah. 
But yeah. once you explained it to me, yes. I was <laughs> much better. Um, good hands. <laughs> okay, we do something uh, at the end of the podcast. We say a little something. Will you say it with us? Mm-hmm. I'll do it first, and then you go. Okay. Okay. Anyway, that was the show. Thank you so much for watching on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching on YouTube. Thank you to Baja Coast Realty for being a sponsor and Sweetums Wipes and Barry's Hair. And with that, love your podcast. Love your podcast. <laughs> was I not supposed to say that? No, he... It's not you, it's him. <laughs> what? He just refuses sometimes to lock I out like sometimes. Sometimes I like He just stretches it out. Like Stretch he doesn't want to end. Oh. I don't. I'm having a great time. I know you are, but it's time. Well, Dr. Riedler and I can sit here and shoot the breeze for a while if you want to go take a nap. After the show, (laughs) after you lock out, that'd be fine. Love your podcast. There we go. Love you, my sweet baby.